back in 2006, when the Institute for Pharmacogenomics and Individualized Therapy was, was envisioned by the, the university, uh, as we started building things up, we, we realized that there wasn't a, a, a current venue where the people who have made, uh, made life easy for us uh, could be honored and, and recognized. And, and so we started a, a, a series of awards, three awards in, 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 uh, in specific, uh, to, uh, spe to honor those who um, had, had made individualized therapy easier, either at the, the patient advocacy level, at the clinical level, or at the, the, uh, the, the public service level. And uh, today we're gonna honor uh, Mark McClellan uh, with the, the IPIT uh, 2009 Award for, for Public Service. Now, uh, Mark is, uh, well, th this award, I uh, should mention, um, is uh, an annual award. Uh, it honors those who have made significant contributions uh, to the development of individualized therapy uh, to affect public policy changes at the national level. And, and certainly, uh, Mark is, is, uh, is worthy of, of this award. Mark is, is currently a, a senior fellow and, and director of the uh, Engelberg Center for Healthcare Reform, uh, an, a, a very timely name. Um, and the uh, Leonard D. Uh, Schaefer uh, Chair in Health Policy Studies at the Brookings Institution. Uh, a, a doctor and economist by, by training, uh, Dr. McClellan has uh, had a very highly distinguished record in, in public service and in, in academic research. And uh, many of you will, will recognize him um, already and uh, no, uh, no asking for autographs during his lecture, by the way. Um, he's the former administrator of the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services and former commissioner of the Food and Drug Administration, two institutions that are, are quite important for our, our daily work. Um, he's also uh, served in important roles in both the, the Bush II administration, the George W. Bush administration, um, and the, the uh, William Jefferson Clinton administration. Uh, for, so has been, been active in, at that level um, over the, the, uh, the last 16 years. Previously, he was an associate professor of economics and medicine uh, with tenure at Stanford University uh, where he directed the uh, program on health outcomes research um, at, that, at that university, and has twice received the uh, Kenneth J. Arrow Award for outstanding research in health economics. Uh, so uh, comes with a, a, a quite a, a, a strong academic background. He's the, 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 uh, a leader in a number of current initiatives that are trying to really uh, push health, re health reform forward. Uh, he's co-director of the Bipartisan Policy Center's uh, Leaders Project on the State of American Healthcare, that's a, quite a mouthful. Uh, Co-chair is the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation Commission on Building a Healthier America. He chairs the FDA Reagan Udall, Udall uh, Foundation. He is a co-chair of the Quality Alliance uh, Steering Committee, uh, sits on the National Quality Forum's Board of Directors, and is a member of the Institute of Medicine uh, of the, the National Academy of Sciences uh, and a, a research associate at the National Bureau of, of uh, Economic uh, Research. He um, got his, his MD from the Harvard University, uh, Massachusetts Institute of, of Technology, uh, Division of Health Sciences and, and Technology, uh, the, the joint program they, they offer, and a, a PhD in economics at MIT, uh, has an MPA from, from Harvard University and a, a Bachelor's of Arts uh, from the University of Texas, Austin. Uh, he completed his, his residency training in internal medicine. Uh, at Brigham and Women's Hospital and is board certified in internal medicine. And I don't know if he's, you're still board certified in internal medicine, but good luck keeping that up with all the other things that you're, you're doing. Hopefully you've been grandfathered in at some point. Um, and the reason why uh, the award is being uh, given today is, is really uh, at the FDA with the Critical Path Initiative and at CMS, uh, uh, his, his vision has really uh, driven progress in individualized therapy. It's opened up uh, a lot of the avenues on which we can now uh, take uh, these ideas and push them forward. Before the, the Critical Path Initiative and all the activities that, that started during his, his watch at the FDA and the CMS activities that are starting to open up and that because of his time there, um, we, we didn't really have that, that pull. We had some push from academics trying to get things started, but we didn't have the pull from the payer side and the regulatory side to really push things forward. And under, under Mark's watch, uh, there were a number of package insert changes, critical path initiative um, uh, activities that really had caused the field to become more than just an academic idea and start pushing it forward in, into reality. And so really the advocacy uh, of pharmacogenetics and personalized medicine in particular uh, throughout his career um, has really put the, the individual patient in a place of priority. 
and has brought le legitimacy to both the research and practice in this area. So Mark, if you could come forward. Uh, what I'd like to do is uh, give you the uh, 2009 um, IPIT Public Service Award. Uh, thank, so you thank, thank you very much, much. Howard. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Hurry up, Bob, this is worse than my wedding. <laughs> All right, great. Um, so we'll, um, we'll send this to you to keep you from having to have carry on. I think the TSA uh, regards this as a weapon. Um, so we will go ahead and keep that from there. Uh, but I'd like to welcome you up and we look forward to your presentation. Thank so you. thank you. Well, good afternoon to all of you. It's a pleasure to be back here in North Carolina. I want to especially thank Howard and the Institute for Pharmacogenomics and Individualized Therapy. Um, this is an example of the kind of leadership that UNC is providing and why it's so nice to be back here with uh, faculty like Howard and had a chance over the years to work closely with Bill Roper, uh, as well as to work with some of your former, some of the former students here, one of our senior research directors, Aaron McKeffin, is a UNC econ grad who also did a lot of work in health policy. Of course, the other way too, I see Liz Walker, who's one of my former research assistants now, uh, who's uh, done a degree here and down in uh, North Carolina. So uh, it's very nice to be back, and it's a real privilege to be uh, the recipient of this award.